Okay. We are recording. Hooray. All right. So what are we doing right now? We are trying to play catch up because we... Okay. So we did... Don't explain, just do. You'll see. It's I'm trying to like I'm learning how to do this. <laughs> um so basically the situation is that the last assignment that I gave to the students. Yeah. So if you're watching this and you're a student, I'm gonna tr like I think talking to you when I'm doing this is a distraction that makes these videos too long. So now this is pretend that you're like peeking in the window. Um See? Headspace. Pause. Okay, we're back. So, yeah, last time we got started with, well, basically we let ourselves get overwhelmed. And we got this out, but it's not very good. And it's, distra and it's um, super incomplete. Probably technically all the information necessary was in the previous video, but that was a very long video. Um, and so as a result, there was a lot of stochasticity to the students' responses. Uh, so we are going to edit this and update it and yeah, and then kind of just roll it over. Uh, Okay, and also, yeah, let's see, other things that I've been working on before I start to push record. Uh, then I decided, uh, the part that I was like, oh, I should, I should push, I should pull this in. So I realized that part of the issue, well, it's just not a, it's not a, it's not a well-defined, um, like assignment, not it's not a well-defined exercise. So I realized that I was doing the thing that I, I think it's just like this is a lesson that I keep learning, and I think is just like one of the lessons in working with like AI language generation stuff, is realizing that I had gotten stuck in bottom up and needed to revert, and needed to go more top down. So bottom up is like, like I was like I'm like blobbing voice memos in there, sort of like getting the ideas out, like the rough structure stuff. Um, and then it generates something that's like matches the structure I gave it, but the structure I gave it was unstructured. So um, that's a great way to go uh, when you're just dumping the ideas. But then invariably what I've discovered is like you don't want to get stuck there and you don't want to like you don't want to act like you gave it a good structure. So more you want to let you want to let the, the brain dumpy globby blobby bits just get your ideas onto the paper, and then once you see what emerges, then kind of use that to kind of tweak the um, uh, structure. Hmm, I'm realizing now. There's an instructive component to this, which, moving on. Uh, so, one of the things I did, so, and this is, this is why I stopped um, and turned the video on, is because I was doing some work in my own Personal. Why does this happen? What the shit? Um, I don't know what this happened. I don't know why this is here. Uh, hmm? Okay, we'll get there. Um, this is like my own personal server with all my stuff in it, um, and I, I just added this one. Uh, which I was like, oh, I can use this to work on the class, um, which I can, but also I realized that I think I should be, I should pull this into the server so that way you guys can see what I'm working on. Oh, I can't, <laughs> just one screen. Um, so over here to NC, I really want to get image generation so I can start making <laughs> crazy icons. The, the letter icons make me a little, it's like, come on. <laughs> okay. Um, so I had been thinking I would be using this like foof channel as like the place where I work, but I realized I think that's better served as like a demo channel for like, this is what it would be like for you. And I will do some work in there that's sort of like analogous to, 
um, the capstone stuff. Um, and then exercises, I think, can be exercises. One of the biggest problems, I think, with the previous assignment is there was no real, like, call to action. Like, I didn't, like, the, it was, like, set up your space, but then it wasn't really, like, and then do something with it. So, as a result, many people didn't, and so you just kind of set it up, and then it's like, well, that's, and now I'm confused, says the statistical cloud that is representative of y'all. Um, so... And I think we're going to keep this as just exercise four. There doesn't have to be the ordinality to it. Like, you know, because that's like part of the soft, one of the soft lessons here is like, you know, you, just, you know, like make something sloppy and then make it better. Iterate, iterate, iteration. That's how we do. Okay. Yeah. Four building your tree yeah okay the other thing is, I think is like as you realize the structure write it down because <laughs> like sometimes like like for me personally I just have these like as I'm as I'm working I'm like oh right that's what I'm doing and then I move on <laughs> and one of the problems with like everything electronic is like everything winds up sort of being stacked in infinitely thin pages on top of itself. So having external grounding is useful. Okay, so um, workflow video. Sure, that's what I'm doing now. And then by the end, I just need to, uh, oh yeah, prompt plus task for Xer size four channel. It's kind of also like the wrangling aspects of things. Um, I really want to. It's also like you know, if there's an assignment here, it's over easy, easier for me to check. I had stuff on Canvas last time, which I just can't express to you how much I don't like working with Canvas, and it's hard to it's hard to really capture. <laughs> Um, okay, so we need to make a prompt for that. Uh, it also, the canvas thing sort of makes things a little more difficult. I think I'll just edit. People will already have, people will already have done it. I haven't checked the numbers. I could just roll forward with that. Who cares? Then I write canvas question mark, because I don't know what to do about that. Um, whatever yeah and then like we're also pr oh yeah and then where are we going so we're doing that uh, da, 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 da. right we're setting up up the we're going to call it I guess like I feel I always feel weird calling myself prof because it feels very like hierarchical, but I think it's also a helpful tag for the eyes <laughs> um, for you. Just sort of like this is the professor sort of tagged this, and I think it's like it's part of my continuous learning of like how to be in this. I don't know how to navigate the realities of it's like. Like, how do you mindfully navigate being a part of a hierarchy, especially when you get to the part of the hierarchy where, like, people, you, like, <laughs> you uh, and I'm just going to use my, no, we're using the, we're going to, the little leaf is going to be the tag, meaning, look at this. Um, growing our iconography. Uh, this is John's place, um, I think I'm going to get rid of that. I'll do it later, though. <coughs> JKL's place. Okay, what are we doing here? So we're doing, setting up the, uh, 
what's it called? Prof. Prof. I'm just going to say workbench. Uh, I don't like the name, but I can change the name. And I'll put it up here. General? No, it's not general. Uh, create category. Just where we can see it. Um, da, 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 create category. I'm going to do this. How are we doing this? Do one uh, prof workbench. Gives a shit. Uh, Windows, that thing work? Sure. It's like tinkering. You know? Um, because I'd also. Mm, can I do that actually? I think it's fine. Because um, I also realized that, like. Okay, I'm going to have that. Mm. Copy, duplicate. This is probably one of the worst things about this whole Discord based UI. It's like the duplicated channels. It's just so confusing. Um, prompt settings. Uh, okay, and then I say in this category. Uh, this category is for the prof, professor of this course to work on aspects of course development, such as building assignments, exercises, working, working on I don't know, course materials, etc. Um, the students uh, can see this, but you, the bot, uh, can talk to the professor, the only human allowed to chat in here with. Mm, uh, more as a call, like a colleague, I don't know, whatever, like a colleague you. Okay. So this is kind of like to get the vibes right. Notice what just happened here. I put two lines in here. I'm actually going to break this up, um, because this is likely to remain accurate within the context of this category. This is the kind of thing I'm, I expect to need to change. Um, cause it's more. Yeah, so I'm going to, uh, da, da, da. I'm going to tag both of these as on, um, but I might change it, which is a little bit, um, not ironic, but one of the things I'm going to recommend for a lot of people is to do less of that. Oh, they didn't start there. So someone who did. Um, actually, this is good. I don't know who did this, but, um. Okay, uh, just the notes to mention how to change nicknames because I'm going to say like change your nickname to whatever you want. Like I have now de-identified it. You can actually re you can re-identify yourself if you want. Um, it is now identification is, like is opt-in. Um, this is good. Uh, did this work though? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Um, yeah, I need to do the, the reactive teaching things where I just go through and talk about it. Anyways, yeah, I'm getting distracted, but, um, yeah, yeah watch out for this kind of stuff. We'll talk about that. Mm, 
problems, talk about it later. Notes, talk, changing nicknames, workflow right now. We're setting up the workbench. It's up here, it's got there. Um, the emojis can be, this emoji can change because it's just matching the pattern for <coughs> um, it's just looking for prompt settings when it's looking for this channel so you can have emojis to tag it but that's um, it's fine yeah, it's, just, it's annoying because of how they mm, whatever and I can't control Z here it's fine okay this is the workbench this is there okay oh and now we're going to duplicate so in my in my little private server I had made this and then I made this exercise builder channel right and then I made the which had this schema of what makes a good definition of an exercise which is the point <laughs> this is the problem with organic conversation is typically we get to the point at the end but when we're presenting the information we want to present all the good stuff first uh, don't don't bury the lead is the thing that should be in your head. Where lead is spelled L-E-D-E. -E. It's like a newspaper term, which is like a weird word that is a homonym for a synonym. So when people say don't bury the lead, you'll often see them spell lead, L-E-A-D, uh, meaning like the lead headline, but it's actually like a reference to an older term, L-E-D-E, -E, which means like basically the same thing. <laughs> Okay, uh, da, 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 da. did I get these instructions in here? I did have these instructions. Um, yeah, this was also like I copied the description from before from the other server, the other server. Yeah. Um, right, because of the bottom down top up thing what I'm going to do is basically in this other channel, in this general channel, where'd you go? This was kind of the workflow. This is part that's not going to make it, there's not going to be any artifact of this in our core server. So this is the only part, if you're watching this, this is the value added. Um, so basically having recognized that I, that my assignments were not structured in a, like a, like the way that you want them to be, I realized that what I was missing was in fact the boring part. We've talked about this before of like, <laughs> so funny, like it's like a phrase, like you hear professors say, we've talked about this before and then they move on and in your head you're like, I'm an idiot and I forgot to read all the materials and now that I'm on this side of the fence, what they're actually saying is, I'm pretty sure in some in one of my unstructured rambles of the past, this topic may have emerged, and I just remembered it, and I feel weird moving past it without referencing it, but I also don't remember where you could go for it. Where you going to look for it? It's like left as an exercise for the reader is a joke, um, meaning I don't want to talk about this. We've talked about this before. Is like pfft, that's what that means. Anyways, um, having realized, yeah, so. One of the issues with AI is it produces relatively boring stuff because that's kind of its job. Like it's sort of without really specific prompting, which is kind of what we're going to be working on in the back half of this course, where we're, which we're now in. Um, it will always produce answers that are just straight down the middle, straight down the middle of the uh, the the big bulby belly of the statistical likelihood of what of what the good response is here. It'll hit it straight up the middle, which is boring typically because when we when if you if you write something and i read it i want to read what you had to say not the statistics of what the internet you know data set sort of suggest even if it's impressive um and so a lot of that was like how do you make it more how do you how do you give it your voice how do you like make it more unique um but then i realized that for something like this uh where you're trying to make a course definition and you're trying to give it to other people in a way that they sort of like Will recognize it and be easy for their brain that is a place where you do want to fire it straight up the middle it's like um in one of my previous videos which someone i know who but i won't mention who uh helpfully pointed out like when i couldn't find out how to read how to drag the the window on canvas to get bigger 
And I was like, oh, it's not there, blah, blah, blah. And then afterward, I can tell that they like they sent a message to the general, like, hey, here's how you do it. Because like, I knew exactly where they were watching because like, I knew later I found it. And what I found was that they had used an icon that was not the standard icon for make the window bigger. Um, and they had not implemented the other standard behavior, which is hover over the edge and you should be able to pull it up and down. And that's in like software user experience world, that's called pattern. Like it's, you're following pattern if you put it, do the right thing. Anti-pattern is like when you, you use the wrong icon. Um, and the idea is that you're like, if you, if you fail at that, you haven't done anything wrong, but people are going to be confused because you're not following the standard patterns of behavior that we sort of expect for like windows. Like, don't be creative in where you put the close button on your window when you're making a, a, a GUI or something like that. Similarly, um, so anyways, like, so realizing that my assignment structures didn't follow like standard patterns of like what a good assignment structure should look like, I went to the bot, made a sort of unprompted general chat, like without telling it like who I was or what I was doing or giving it any context at all. Keep them anemic is another thing you want to do with these bots. And I just said, hey, I'm a professor and I'm trying to make a schema to help a teaching assistant. Sort of like, <laughs> it's always a funny thing. Like, uh, not me, just some 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 idiot I'm working with who needs help with this. Um, just the, mostly because like, that's kind of the relationship of like, you and me, bot, let's figure out how to explain it to this other person. And then... I know that that's me, but the bot doesn't need to know it. I'm just trying to generate the behavior. Um, then I'm like, come up with a come up with a, a a document about like what makes a good assignment. Um, you know, give it the formatting, blah blah blah. I think I was doing voice to text, so it didn't. So that's why some of the stuff is weird here. And it gives me this, which is like super generic, but hits all the major points. Like, what's the purpose? What are the materials? What are the instructions? Step by step, blah blah blah. Um, and then I was like, okay, that's too generic. So I gave it some more information with a voice memo. Um, I might make y'all do a voice memo later. Um, and I gave it some more information about capstone. Like, oh, like make, it should be related to capstone, blah, blah, blah. It gave me this, um, which is much closer, much closer to what I wanted it to be. Still not exactly right, but has all the major parts. Um, and so I just, so then I took that, the nice thing about it being in the markdown formatted code block, which is these three back ticks, which is the thing in your upper left on by the tilde, the left of the one above the tab. Um, uh, da -da -da, is that it gives you this copy button. So I copied that over because it's markdown, it's all pur pure raw. I made a new file in the capstone or like the course repository which oh it's auto committing which is always I, I meant to turn that off but that's fine um i copied it in here and then i edited it right easy and i, I put this tag above it these are comments in markdown um meaning that they don't get rendered uh and this is kind of ugly but it's not that bad uh i can look at it in this nice tree hello look at that um which is clicking on the okay focus. oh i need to make make tools category <clears throat> i will feel so much anyways see you later um right and so And then I copied this, went over, made a new, after this, I, this is when I, I said, like, oh, let me make a new channel. So I made this channel Then I made an uh, exercise builder, I, sorry, made a new category for the capstone. Cause a lot of these stuff is just other projects I'm working on. Um, and I copied it in to this channel and I pinned it, which I don't know if I've mentioned that, but we'll, get to that later um, and now here I am in this channel and then I opened up a chat uh, where I can just say given that schema 
let's say, uh, help me update this exercise and fit this format. And it's like, sure, I'm happy to help. And that's when I was like, oh, I should be doing this in the main server. So basically now um, in this private server I have, which I use for a bunch of stuff, I have a category specifically tuned to working on the project in my class in my life that is teaching this class. And then in that category, I have a channel which is specifically tuned to creating exercises that match this schema. Um, and to bring it back to what I was talking about before with bottom down, bottom up versus top down, the concept space related to those concepts, I don't know. Um, this is the top down structure. This is like, I am coming in with the structure pre-specified. So now when I give it unstructured blobs of thoughts and sort of like the general brain dump stuff, it now knows the structure that I'm trying to pour that data into. So it will do presumably a better job than when I just gave it the blob and said, tell me what the structure of this is. Hey, here's a, here's a random blah, 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 generate an exercise sort of definition out of that is a way harder task than here is the schema of the thing that I'm trying to generate. Here is the data, information, linguistic data that sort of will, f that will, that will transform this generic schema of a document into the specific document that I am trying to make. Um, that's a much easier task. It'd be easier for you, be easy. so because it's easier for you, it would also be easier for the bot because you are both cognitive agents of some kind performing a linguistic task, which may be boiled down to the generation and or manipulation of characters on a screen. Implementation's different, but you're turning the same crank. Okay. Uh, and so here we are. And so now we actually come to do the work and now we realize that VS Code has somehow F11? Yeah, <laughs> I remember things sometimes. F11 I think is like, oh wait, uh, Control Shift P, screen cat, I don't know why that turns off. Um, F11 is like, z oh yeah, full screen. Ugh. F11, hooray. Um, 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 um. But, right, um, so now we want to recreate this channel in our server. And we're doing it in the workbench and we're making a channel and we're gonna call it um, exercise builder. And like, why can I, what is, what is the, what is being tripped in my brain that always wants me to say XC exercise? Is that a Britishism? Because I, li I lived in the Middle East when I was younger and there were a lot of British people there. So there's like certain things in my language that just like, I like spell theater R-E and like spell in my brain, like lens has an E on the end. Like there's just little things that was like, for some reason, the British one is the one that stuck and it, it, it always feels like that where I type it and I'm like, wait, that's wrong. <laughs> um, okay, where the shit are we? We're over here. And we're gonna copy the instructions, sort of the description, which is the, the channel description also defines, yeah, it's part of the prompt. I don't know if this is, we'll see if it lands. This is why like the hand holding instructions are so important. It's like, it's like, it'll make sense once you do it. And if it doesn't, you'll at least know the steps. Because, yeah, uh, in this channel, we will work together. So that's going to need to be a little bit different in the context of that server. Um, wait. Oh, right. No, where are we? Here? Here? General, I guess general can go above, although we're not really using it. Exercises should go above. Exercises should go above. Arguably, prof, I'll keep it on top because I want your eyes to see it. I, didn't, I haven't done the thing where I can or reorganize the category, so apologies to old Fakib. Fakib. 
Okay. Exercise builder, edit the channel. Doink, doink. In this channel, uh, we. Uh, we. The bot. I. I. The bot. Because <laughs> it's like, it goes into its system prompt, so you, it's like. I don't know. I hope, like go. I'm like a little sloppy with saying like I or you. It's like when you're like, what is your internal monologue? What what does your internal log monologue say? I need to do this, or does your internal monologue say you need to do this? Because mine goes back and forth. To be honest. See, there it is. Exercise. Keep it simple, because that one's more annoying to change. And then I'm gonna mm, shift V. He, he. What did I say over here? Here's a rough scheme we use for exercises. So yeah, so I want to I want to put this whole thing in here, and so I'm gonna to copy to copy the whole message. I don't want to just do that because then it, it ruins the formatting, which is like the whole point of Markdown. So actually, it doesn't it ruins it a little bit. Like it doesn't notice that it has like the back ticks or anything like that. Um, so to avoid, like it, notice that it doesn't maintain the code block. So to avoid that, if I right click the message and then say copy text, and I paste that in here, it retains these guys. And so if I hit it, it will have that in there versus if I just copy the whole thing, control C, control V, hit that, then it doesn't have that there. That's why a lot of your things wind up looking like this is because you don't do the back ticking or whatever the, that term is. Um, <laughs> controls, I'm gonna push control Z. Cause it's like, I use Discord basically as like a, like a mass, like a markdown document editor. Um, largely just cause it's so useful to have like a shared state that you can share with like other people, a class, I got this, you know, old, whole UI built into it. I can pop it open on my phone or another computer. It's always there. Um, and it's in each message is just a little markdown formatted document. Um, that's probably a good point to make actually. Uh, talk about VS Code and Markdown and Discord and uh, point them towards Docs. Okay, let's be realistic about time. Thirty. Okay. If I can make these small videos and I can like if I give you guys something to work on in Discord, yes. If it's in Discord, then you guys don't really need to know the VS Code markdown -y stuff because that can come later um, because Discord is a markdown editor. And the main resistance that I'm expecting to feel there statistically from the cloud of <laughs> raw human emotion representing the, the class um, is like, like, when are we going to start building the actual document? And it's like, you are. You have. You already have. Um, you're. You're in it, and then like just learning how to do that comparison. Focus. Um, so, and hold shift. Ooh, do you have permissions to delete messages? Check. <laughs> do they have manage? permission in their category. Manage message means you can delete other people's messages. Um, so I can give you guys, because I have the categories tagged to the roles, which are tagged to the students, I can do that at a per category level, I think. Um, oh, right, because I have the fucking script deploy thing, but I'd have to, we'll see.
who cares? <sighs> okay, we are in this server. We got to go back to this server. We are in here, and this was not, yeah, oh right, that's, yeah, this was the wrong paste. So if I paste it again, still the wrong paste. Uh, go back here, right click some, copy text, go back here, and paste, and yeah. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to uh, pin this. Do they have pin response? I think you do. Hmm. Do they have pin permissions? <laughs> uh, right click them. Pin message. Oh yeah, pin it. Cute. Ugh. And then you can see them from up here. And so this is now pinned. I hate that there's nothing visible on this to tell you that it's been pinned, but what are you gonna do? Um, if you're watching this and you don't have pin permissions yet, I probably could have put all of that in here. Yeah, there was room to put it all in there. Um, in fact, that's what I'm gonna do, paste. No, I wanna test the pin stuff to see if it works. So if you have eight, 177 characters to configure and then this one is here so you should be pinned okay <clears throat> so now I want to test that the pin stuff actually works it actually is pulling the pins from the channel because I don't know if I fully tested that but now that I'm in this channel I can start having conversations to edit and tweak and improve experiment uh, whatever it's called exercise number four um, having already decided what the structure should be it's kind of like we already did something like that with the uh, with the with the, with the article um, but that may not have landed um, here's the rough schema okay and so this test we're just gonna test this test um, I'm gonna say uh, what do you think of this schema? Is it missing anything? Um, evaluate it, it from multiple angles. Uh, as a as an expert in classical teaching techniques, as a radical anarchist <laughs> teacher uh, like Paolo, Paolo think Paolo think Paolo Freire Freire I mentioned him in the main prompt um, I actually don't know if that guy's cool <laughs> but I like the book and the vibes are right and so it, and it'll be close enough um, I also, uh, Bell Hooks has a thing, teaching thing, but I think it's less, that was like not one of her more famous books and like, it's fine. The other one's better. And also, cause like, because that book is so formative, the Palo Ferreri one, the bot will have it more deeply ingrained in its data set because it'll be copied in more places, presumably. They won't tell us. Um, as a student who is super on top of their game, and as a student who is overwhelmed and holding on by holding on by the skin of their teeth. I see you, you're doing great. Punch it. Um, this is doing double duty because I'm gonna be able to check the JSON that gets attached and also it'll give me some here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would suggest incorporate elements that encourage critical thinking and dialogue amongst peers. This could be a form of group discussions or peer feedback loops integrated into a, into the reflection section. Yes, but not yet. Um, yeah, not yet. On top of the game, as great as it allows them, they may benefit from additional challenges in the options and variation section. 
uh, who's overwhelmed could be intimidating. It might be helpful to include estimated time commitments. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. know, good enough. So I, I, I already know that it can see it because it was talking specifically about the sections. Um, I'm not really going to implement any of these, but it's like these are all these are all good good feedback, you know, totally. And the like estimated time I think is a really helpful one because it's like oh this step should take you 20 seconds, oh this step should take you an hour, like it's not obvious. Um, it's like I always get really it's like oh here's 17 instructions, like here's a 17 step instruction thing, and the person who made it is like oh man I'm so nice I made sure to like nail every single individual step. But when you're consuming that instruction set, you're like, oh my God, 17 opportunities to fuck this up. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, yeah, it's 17 steps, but really it's like three main steps. And then the first step just has like eight subcomponents, but like, and really like subcomponents two and three are optional and like four, you, you don't really have to do it, but it's nice, like that kind of stuff. It's like, this is the this is the task but also just double checking so here's the the guy that gets pinned and yeah you can see it's there context instructions context name oh the thread is the name exercise builders here and then it's this like super I do want to format that somewhere um, but it's fine Pfft. uh just convert it to yaml but I just it's like I gotta get my head like the, it's the task switching for me. Whoa. Oh, it's so long. I remember that. Did it get the last part, though? Like it's trying to guess. Uh, it did. These, oof. The backslash N is a new line. Um, so it's like one of those. And it's just not rendered here. And I don't know how to make it render in a copy paste, but I don't need to. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> All right. I always love it. It's like, oh man, I'm making progress. It's like, are you though? Is any of this is any of this on task? It's like, yeah, sort of. <laughs> okay, great. Um. Oh right, this is now approaching on task. Uh, we have done, in fact, a tremendous amount of work in order to allow the bot to assist us in something that we could have just done directly. But this is sort of more generative, so it's more fun. And it's also like headier. There's just something, something about that. Okay, VS code, and oh, main task, main task, main task of this recording is make sure the students have a productive task to work on you're doing great but like yeah it's like something that you can be working on because you have been making progress it's just not obvious and yeah it's like you'll be good you're doing great you're killing it okay um so now Great. Check this out. Um, prof notes to self. Ooh, I like this. Check this out. Uh, prof self evaluation. <laughs> No, actually, <laughs> the grayed out stuff is like the is like GitHub Copilot predicting, and I hit Control forward slash, which is like relatively universal design for. Actually, I'm gonna do a um, multi line. Is that how I do that? I think there's anyone who cares. Stop that. Um, this is a decent first pass it's like it's so funny <laughs> if it was more thorough what would it say uh, it's like 
like making Copilot predict comments is always funny because you can just see some like <laughs> like I don't like you can see comments of like I don't know how this works but it works so don't touch it stuff like that like, it's like yeah people say that a lot probably um it's a decent start but it's too vague <sighs> want to update it to match the prescribed schema and and add more detail. In short, and this is the part okay. This is one of those things where it's like with all of this kind of like fiddle faddling around and like, you know, like, oh, I could have just sat down and write it. I could have, but it's like it would feel unproductive because it's not generative. And it also kind of feels like the thing, the information that I want to get down is relatively blobby and self-contained. So I, w I'm, I want to set up the, the crank so that the next time I have to do this task, it's easier. Um, and that's always a trade-off of like how hard is it to do and how often do you think you're going to do it. In this case, I'm gonna be doing it a fair amount, so it's worth it if it works, which it may or may not. In short, I want, I will ask them to uh, simplify the bot prompt thing. So their bot prompt, <laughs> uh, it, it, so their bot, so their whole capstone is outlined in a single message in the bot prompt section of their category. Uh, you don't have to write, your grammar doesn't have to be good. Like, this is not for a human. Um, uh, show an example. in the server. I always, if they need it, there to go. Um, uh, specify that they only need to make channels accurate. Uh, See if we can do the cool thing. Um, ah, uh, format it, format it so that the channel name in the message also links to the channel. So I saw that happening automatically with a few people and I was like, that's cool. Uh, it's just a cool way to navigate. Um, mm. Also set up a general channel. channel and paper summarizer channel with the paper schema included in it. It's not, that's not accurate. Um, okay, I'm, am I going too deep? I'm not, okay. I mean, <laughs> okay, what do you think of the schema? Okay, that's good enough. I, I started getting into higher level notes um, about like I, I, about like the tools, channel stuff like that. And I remembered, first of all, I've already written that in a different place, so it's already in the world somewhere. And it's not relevant to the task I'm gonna ask the bot to do about this. So the fact that I'm putting these like notes in here, um, 
means that when I pop this into the uh, the the category or the chat or whatever that I'm about to give it, it will already be able to see the notes of like here's what I'm planning on doing with it. Um, and I'll show you the other part that I'm going to do with that. Um, so it doesn't need to know about like, oh, I'm going to make a category for tools that explains how to use VS Code. Oh, I'm going to make uh, exercises channel. Because I'm also going to need to make a prompt for the, like that channel. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, uh, tasks to perform. I, I will I will ask I will ask them to do um, oh uh, pop a chat in each of the three main topic channels uh, use the papers papers channel to discuss individual papers <laughs> visual papers and then show them how to pull how to extract a summary and then use it to is that right is this too much am I getting mm. It might be too much. I might wind up breaking this into parts. Because I used this, this, I said and. If you say and, get your scissors. That's what, it's like, that's two things. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do that. It's like, great. Those are two, two assignments, two classes. Learn this lesson. Um, use it to uh, da, 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 use it to I, but I also I think we're a little behind uh, so maybe I will do it you're smart you'll figure it out options and variations ooh <laughs> options add Add uh, 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 extras. Mm. Fuck it, I'll make you do it. I'm going to show you a tour. Okay, we can do that later. How's it doing on time? Mm. Use it to uh, drive forward a discussion in the in. In, in the topic channels, in one of the topic channels. Another thing that might not be obvious, um, talk about VS Code and yeah, make tools category, yeah, also show prev class knowledge base because I realize it's like in my head I'm doing this in the context of having seen how the data from previous classes winds up looking y'all aren't um, some of you might be but even the ones who are in those classes I didn't may not have seen what happened afterwards because I didn't <laughs> tell anybody um, but I'm telling you now um, and so like showing how like we're going to be extracting like I'm going to extract like the conversations you have, the data you have in the chats, the data you have in the channels is going to be extracted um, and scraped and then sent through the AI. So like the conversations that you are having in the structure that you are having them will define a lot of what that knowledge base looks like. Um, it's again, this top down, bottom up thing. So like by you setting up, saying you again, by you setting up your category with a certain structure and with a certain number of topics and you have conversations in those topics you have already predefined what that um, conversation is going to what that exploration looks like and then we can extract the like 
when you have a bunch of unstructured conversations, we extract it and then it sort of like has a structure automatically because you're the one who chose those channels and you're the one who named those channels and you're the one who decided to go into the channel called neuroscience and then, you know, see how that, <laughs> see how that looks. Okay. Um, we'll see. That might be a little high concept. We'll find out. I need to check something though. Um, I need to check how it handles duplicates. So if I go in here, so we got docs and we got docs. So what happens if I type docs? Oh, okay. You have to select it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Y'all gonna fuck that up. <laughs> Somebody is. Somebody is. But that's okay. Um. It's okay if the link doesn't work because when I scrape it, I can fix that. I can scrape that. Um, because the way that you, the way that we want it to work is I, if I type docs here, it go it in the in this category it should take me to this one. If I type docs he, here in this one, it should take me to this one, the one in, in the same category. Um, Discord isn't set up like that, uh, and I can complain about it. Lord knows I will. But also, it's kind of like we're using this tool beyond its intended purposes, so it's not surprising that it's. So that's not what I want it to be. Um, okay. All right, cool. So here we are. Um, slash chat. Uh, help me update and edit this initial <laughs> draft of uh, experiment exercise. Number four, uh, using the new schema and my uh, self-evaluation notes. 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 Um, as a guide, uh, uh, don't make things up if uh, do a first, um, uh, don't uh, try to generate uh, the new document yet. Yet, just take a look at what I share in the next message. Can y'all see that? Yeah, probably not. Message, usage and uh, let me know what information you would need to complete the whole whole document if you understand say beep and await next message and nothing else did i say nothing else or did i say nothing i have to figure it out from context yeah Beep. Yeah. Again, because it's like, I'm going to give it a document now. Um, so I didn't want it to be like, blah, blah, blah. Great. Let's do it. Shut up. You got it. So, okay. So we got that. And I go over here. Here I am in VS Code. I could copy paste. Oh, I could copy paste this here. Ugh. But I don't, I also. Okay, so um, st stage changes. I'm about to use AI to edit this doc, so I always want to commit before you make the AI do stuff to it because the AI changes block the whole thing. So keep a record. Um, adding prof notes to the first draft before feeding to bot. Commit in sync. Okay, and then what's the keyboard shortcut to it? I don't know how to do it. Uh, Control Shift P, reveal active file in Explorer view. There's no keyboard shortcut. Key binding, uh, what do I want it to be? Well, over in PyCharm, it's this, this. So 
Sure. Uh, da, da. Great. Grab it. Control C. Control V. No, wait. Does that work? Control C. Control V. Why doesn't that work? I knew that. I can't remember what solution was. Uh, reveal. It's because it doesn't copy it. It copies like a reference to it or something like that. And like VS Code, like something about the interaction between the VS Code file browser and then the Discord like attachment creator. Um, does not play nicely. I'll set it. I also changed the name of this. Previously I had spaces in it because I was a terrible person. Reveal the Explorer. This one I can drag in and it's just fine. Um, I've already given it the information it needs. I can add a message here. Should I reiterate? I'll reiterate. Um, I'll just so copy this and I'll say, remember, your task is. So now I'm like duplicating this blob of text in its. In its memory, which unfortunately, actually, I, I, actually, I know this is true. That JSON definition was supposed to have the messages in it, but there's a bug so that they don't get populated. But um, when I go and fix it, I'll fix that. Um, um, okay, so now I've given it there, and it now has all of this. This is what all this shit I was just saying. Should have set it into the machine. And I still will have like auto processing these videos is still like a thousand percent going to happen. It's just got to who knows when. OK, so going back over here, let's see what I can give it. Um, Also, I would need examples from the channel name, paper schema. Interesting. Can I do that? Mm. Okay, great. Okay, so that's right. This is like a thing with the bots too. Is they make give them incremental steps. Don't ask them to like don't don't eat the whole cow. Just take a bite. Okay, great. Good notes. Um, I will give you those that information information later. For now, just get started. Uh, building out the uh, re, I'm gonna say refactored. It's a code term, but it, it knows what I mean. Refactored version of this assignment, and uh, just leave any sections you don't have enough info to complete blank and. Uh, blink with a with more info needed to complete this section. 
um, placeholder. In that one hour mark. Hmm. This is the part where I realized that it's possible that my answers were so confused. That. Okay. So again, seeing here how this is like it's already formatted with a markdown like this is this is h1 this is h2 um, I'm gonna copy that over here see it, it's also in, it erroneously added the schema tags comment tags above but that's okay we can fix that right click copy text go over here control all um, uh, should I be doing No, we're not. We have the records in the Git. Trust Git. That's one of the rules. Trust the history. It's in there. Um, make the thing the way that it should be. I don't need to keep a record of the of the previous version because a I already am because on Git, in the GitHub, it's in the history. And b, um, who cares? That's not the way it should be. Like this is the way it should be. Or close. That's not. But it's closer to it. Um, so now I can just go through and edit this. Um, okay, let's see what we feel about this. Pre-exercise, choose your preferred method for creating a markdown document. Um, this is actually still setting up your space, isn't it? Shit, it is setting up your space. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> In this one, I actually am going to call 3.5. Setting up your space, but with better instructions this time. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got turned around on that. Um, these were your instructions. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. That's so funny. Um, okay. So same prompt. Now it's exercise three. <clears throat> Which is already closer to that format, but not really. So let me, hmm, I forgot to do the, okay. This is actually not terrible. I mean, it's close. We'll get to there. Um, we'll we'll leave it. Uh, gotcha. I I was backwards. I was backwards. Um, the thing I needed to update was was exercise three, not expert, not exercise four. Um, and. Exercise four is the one that you're not set up to do because exercise three was confusing. So, gotcha, 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 gotcha. I am, let's see. And I'm still going to, yeah, the 3.5 is not going to be setting up your space. Uh, I have, I have, I have set you, each of you, each of you up, each of you up uh, 
Um, see, because now I also get to go back with the benefit of like hindsight and now I'm editing something as opposed to making something, which is always easier. So like op objects will be more, things will be more obvious. Um, uh, is name something like that. Um, uh, this number, this ID has, is, has also been assigned. Uh, I've also created a role. I have also also created a role for each student ID, which is used to, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Access uh, right. Okay, this is, I will refer to this, to this as your uh, student ID. Like, this is me talking to you, and it's also me talking to the bot. It's like, what do you call, oh, NUID, is that the one you call it? Whatever that one is. I don't want to like, conflict with that. Okay, every chat specifically tagged there. So this really should be a reference to like external documentation. Do I have that? Uh, I might. So, okay, so click on Skellybot, click on the link to his code. Um, click on the docs. And I made some user guides. Yeah, okay. These are like not, they're like a little confused. Like JKL wrote a lot of this for his class. So some of it's like referencing stuff. It's like kind of copy pasted. So you get this kind of junk here, but it is hypothetically better than nothing. So I'm going to give it to you and you just have to, you know, navigate it. Uh, for details. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I have a section. There's a section. Mm. Resources. What do we call that? Uh, additional resources. <laughs> resources. Um, uh, ooh. That's a good one. No, we don't need that one. Um, Skellybot documentation. Documentation. Uh, note: uh, these are a bit sloppy. These are these docs are rather are sloppy, a bit sloppy, and incomplete. Sloppy, disorganized and incomplete, uh, but hopefully <laughs> better than nothing. Uh, if you're willing to dig through them. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Notes, tips and notes, tips, notes and tips, notes, notes, tips, gotchas. I'm going to add that to the thing. Okay, later. Step two, important, don't skip this step. Okay, background. Okay, let's match the naming. Uh, title, that, uh, call. Ooh, wait, I have a schema. Schema. Edit is here. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to call it background, I guess. 
structure. Um, Prerequisites, yeah, but we don't have any here, so like later. Options and variations. Yes, okay. Um, options, variations, completion criteria. Um, Step-by-step -step instructions, completion criteria. Ooh. Example. Example solution. I can add my own. <coughs> Excuse me. Um reflections okay what another what one uh, uh, notes tips gotchas and I like gotchas because gotcha is like haha you made a mistake that was easy to make but now we got you and reflection reflect. It's like, yeah, whatever. Um, okay. Okay, so now we've got this. So let's pull you down here. And then I'm going to hit you with, because I want these to have the same shape. And this one, cool. Different shapes. So, um, so the first thing we're looking for is the H2 headings. So where are the H2 headings? So we have the title, which is good. Um, that one has bullet points, is fine. Task, step by step guide, setting up your, that's already the title, assume context. Okay, and then we got H3 in there, which is fine because that's inside of there. Um, you can go away. Uh, da, 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 step one. Ooh. I will change this. Oh, we're just doing, yeah, we're, we're doing less. Um, oh, this instruction is going to be different, actually. It's fine. Um, major, major. Topic one, major channel. Call it topic channel. Sure, topic channel. One, topic channel two. We're going to call them topic channels. Topic channel three. Simplify this down. Uh, title. My capstone <laughs> is about one to two sentence. About your topic. Um, Sure. 
the major three major top the major major topics And then that's the whole thing. this schema cool where where Topic tag referencing three major topic areas related to your topic. Some people didn't format properly, but that's fine. They had this array added too much. Great. Mm, and this is the part where I changed that up. Step two, <clears throat> create a channel for each major topic. Yeah. And uh, the name of the channel should match the Topic channel tag from come on ye nice now let's see because I've get now there's enough context in this document that it can fill in the gaps um, it's like that's where I'm like I don't want to write that <laughs> it should be obvious. <laughs> I also want you to make, okay, let's see, what's the, um, okay, let's, uh, I'm going to say no longer, yeah, say less, when in doubt, when in doubt. When in doubt, say less. Not always good advice. Sometimes it is, though. So. Uh, this is where a little admonition sort of drop down would be good. Like how to make a channel. That would be good actually. Can I move this to like how to make a channel? Hmm. Yes. Well, it's too much information in here right now. What's going on? Oh, it's sticking. Hmm. 
see like the top it's like remembering the the, the title or the, the section that I'm in room scrolling which is nice kind of it's a little annoying okay I'm gonna take the okay I'll move these I'll move these down uh, that move this down um, don't need that yet. That's notes, trips, and gotchas. We got that. Um, oh, that's where I got it from. It already. I was like, oh, it's a really good link. It's like I already given that link. Um, sample. What did I do? Match the schema. My capstone is about mm -hmm. my thank you. And then this, uh, like, so what is that? Less than, greater than, whichever one. Um, yeah. Okay. Example prompt. That shouldn't be in there. Additional resources should be a second level. Exercise three, no tips and gotchas. Example bot prompt. That should go up here. Okay. I know that I've I've already, I've already got stuff in my. Uh, what is it? Set up your bot prompt channels. Follows the schema. Example bot prompt message. Wahaha. Ba. Better. Then again, it's in there, so we got that. Great. Um, notes, tips, and gotchas. Don't overthink it. It's good advice. You can change it whenever you want. Um, technical instructions. And here's where I, okay, uh, Windows V, thank you, Windows. Um, there. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, how to mm -hmm, make a new channel in your category. Sure. Uh, can I put a picture in here? I can, but I don't want to. It's a picture from it. It's annoying. It's not that annoying, but I. I'm already over an hour and a half in, so. Um, what was the other one today? A how to change a channel description. Yes. Uh, maybe I'll do it when I get it up on, disc on GitHub. Or maybe I won't. It's already 4.30. We're running out of time. before I turn into a pumpkin. <sighs> this is, I'm feeling pretty okay about this. Technical instructions, select text channel. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. We have not even got the bot yet because um, I don't need it right now because I already have the structure pretty laid out in my mind. Um, <sighs> okay, so all right, so we got, all right, we got background. We got, step. we don't need that. That's going to screw things up. Um, background, step-by-step -step guide. Um, we're not, I'm going to have you make a general channel, but we're not going to do the paper channel just yet. We'll do that later. We'll do that later because we don't need we don't need that many we're like too many surfaces like just to, just do the paper stuff in chat do it in the topic and if there's overlap just guess it doesn't matter okay fewer options is fewer options to <laughs> fewer options fewer uh fewer opportunities to make mistakes And it's like add complexity, progressive disclosure. Okay, 
So step one, step one, setting up your bot prop channel there. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see if we want those later. Um, step two, uh, creating, do you, ha you don't have general. I didn't make you a general. Did I, did I? You do. Okay. Cool. 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 Yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I got this. We got this. This is good now. This is, I'm just like, I know that once I give these specific instructions and it's like, do this three, like y'all will start doing it, which is good. Um, but I'm always trying to like figure out like how, cause I, I always come into this kind of on the, like, I always, like, it feels disrespectful to give you guys assignments, but it's, it's all and like, I, like it's, it's not obviously it's a silly thing to say. It's just, but it's like, I want to live in a world where you don't have to be assigned things, but like, this is the structure that we are a part of. And this is the, the arrangement that we have is that I give you assignments and you do them. And that does have value to it. Um, and it's just kind of like, yeah, you gotta, and like this the thing I talked about before is like, do these tasks and, and you will learn something. That is the arrangement that we have. Okay, create a channel for each major topic. Um, uh, step two, uh, have a chat in open, open a slash chat in the general chat channel of your server. Confirm that the bot can see your prompts, your prompt, prompt by asking it to remind, to, by asking it to give you an overview of your own capstone project. E.g. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, feel free to continue. Conti oh, again, assignments. We're assigning. Uh, continue the conversation for at least two to three exchanges. Hmm. If for a few few exchanges to see if the bot understands what you meant in your prompt prompt message. Sure. If you don't like the response, go edit the message, open a new chat, and try again. Iterate. Iterate until you, until the bot is describing your project in a way that aligns with your vision of it. What an educational experience. Uh, note, if you made, made multiple, if you make, wind up making, make multiple 
multiple chats, tag the, actually, you don't have to do that because I'll just assume that the last one is the right one. doesn't matter. I hope you have a bunch. Make a bunch. Mm. Okay. So let's talk about these definitions of done. Completion criteria. Completion criteria, aka definition of done. Such an important topic, content. Like, like how do you know when you're done? Yep. And nope, no. Matches the schema. That's funny. Tag it, tag it, tag it, tag it, tag it, tag it. Uh, four. Capstone. A capstone, capstone bot prompt schema, schema, example bot prompt. Okay, so we got that. So we're down here. Definition of done matches the oh, wait, um, it's like this. Uh, Schema. And I do this, and I do this, and I do schema. I'm running out of brain. I'm making. Pro I feel. I feel pretty good about this actually. It's always. Mm. Capstone. Bot prompt. Mm. The. Uh, defined schema. Why don't you? You're not a link though. Oh, because it's is it the two? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. And it goes up here. My capstone is about bot example bot prompt. My capstone is about. Okay. Did you? Oh, you're collapsed. Yeah. Create a channel. Okay, so step two um, matches the defined schema. Uh, you have had a thanks bot. It's not bot. It's the other bot. All of these AI tools are the same tool. They're just different user interfaces onto the same technology, which is a large language model, which is a strange form of number that speaks English and makes guesses about. It's a words calculator. It's learned enough statistics of enough words that it's very good at guessing. People talk about that like that's like not impressive, but like that's all you do. You meet it rectangle, same task. <sighs> I'm going to change the schema. This is also like, this is another good example of like, I'm not following the schema. I'm using the schema, but I'm going to go back and edit the schema. So this is like bottom down, top up, bottom down, top up, like unstructured text. Uh, use that to help clean the structure. Use that structure to help clean the text. Then you kind of like bounce back and forth. Uh, finish the task. I'm gonna put these in. I'm gonna try to put these in this tag, even though it's gonna be. It's fine. Ugh, I don't love this. Don't love this yellow. No. Give me that. Give me that default. I'm ready for default again. Thank you. Sure. Don't love that either, but it's fine. Control B. Ha. Huh. Ah, uh, pa pa pa. Who are you? Who are you people? What am I doing? Okay. Okay, step three. Okay, step three. C 
create a channel for each major topic. Yes. Um, Uh, technical skills yeah, for this uh, guess <laughs> guess <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Um, Three A. No. These should be numbers, I think. Um, high level chat. High level chat. Uh, this is gonna okay I think you're gonna start to get it now I think once y'all do this it'll start to it'll start to click because um, I think it's like this has been this has been my the biggest source of anxiety for me is the knowledge assumption that there is a percentage of you probably a decently high percentage that just absolutely does not get what I'm trying to do here because it's not been clear. Not because you're stupid, but because I have not done a good job of explaining it to you. Um, once again, this is, if you were confused, it's not because you're stupid, it's because it was not explained well. I give you this permission in any context. It might be that you're in a context that's sort of where there's a lot of assumptions about your, your presumption, uh, assumptions about what you know, but blah, blah, blah. That's part of growing up. If you are confused, it's because it's confusing. If you click on, if you if you click and if you look in the upper left for a X and it's not there, they put it somewhere else. It's a bad design. If you read a paper and you don't understand it, either you're not the target audience, in which case, figure out that's that's a task you like. Do you want to be the target audience? Then you may have to work on that. Or it wasn't explained well. Like if you are if you read something for which you are the target, and you don't understand it. It's a bad document. It was explained poorly. But you're wrong, you say. You've forgotten, <laughs> Professor, that I am an idiot. So obviously this, this does not apply to me. But for more fool you, for I. No one is bigger dumb dumb than me. I have more experience being a dumb dumb, so I outrank you. Um, high level chat about your project. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's call it that's um, project. Mm, yeah, you, you'll figure it out. Focus. I'm tired of being here. Um, uh, making. Topic channels. I'm going to move this up. So I'm going to do uh, shift up, 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 up. And I think I think in VS Code it's Alt. So I hold Alt and push up. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. <sighs> Wait, Step three. And she's a name. This is one of those things where I'm like, you should know. Oh, step three, make the topic channels. Step four, I'm doing, I'm, who is dumb dumb? Step by step guide. I'll do it, yeah, step one, step two, step three, high level chat. Um, Step two, setting up top, the top channels. Yeah. Um, doink, 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 doink. Step two, A. 
make the channels. Make a channel in oh boy notes notes you can only you can only make channels in your category Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Make a channel. Let's see what you look like. That shouldn't be up there. It should be at the bottom. Student ID and assigned role is foof in the foof category. One, two, three, four notes. Um, Boop a doop boop a doop boop note note sure um I'm gonna skip this I'm gonna is that I'll put that as bonus no it is more thing it is more thing but I think at this point you can handle additional thing. Um. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. <clears throat> uh, to hone it in. Adapt, uh, add a brief description of the specific sub uh, that will help clarify the aspects of the, we call it here. <laughs> Too much words. Aspect of the, what do we call it? T 
topic channel the topic of the channel the topic title you want to discuss for example if you named the channel neuroscience but know that you are mostly interested in the mm, related to related mostly interested in stuff related to vision and human movement, you might add a description like you gotta get off those eye movements. Where did I say that somewhere else? In this channel, uh, we will discuss neuroscience neuroscience we will we will specifically be discussing the parts of neuroscience that are most related to it really wants to talk about I must have mentioned eye movements elsewhere in this document um, Note, the bot will already be able to see the channel name. Name, uh, what else was I gonna say here? Uh, less is more, this description will be automatic auto automatic automatically okay I need to turn that off Control shift uh, by adequately added to to the prompt of each chat that happens in that channel so you don't don't want to say too much. Better to be terse with it and then add details in the chat itself. Good job. <laughs> That's how my outlines tend to work. This is the text equivalent of trying to tell a story but keep getting, keep getting, keeping on getting distracted. <laughs> Uh, do ba do add the description to each each of the topic channels to hone in hone the discussion to your interests. Step two A, step two B. Step four. I'm going to turn, yeah, look, we're going to step four. Uh, one uh, specific chats 
more directed specific. Have a have a high level conversation with the bot about the overall structure of your project. Have uh, three in in each open a new chat in each of the channels you mean step two have a conversation specifically about that sub area uh, if you if the vibes are off off edit the channel description bot prompt starting iteratively until they're back on again. <laughs> at the relevant sub prompt components until they are back on again. <laughs> oh dear, deary, deary me. Here's how you know you're done. Here's how you know you're, here's how you are, here's how you will know you are done. We're directed, uh, have topic specific chats. Uh, feel free to discuss papers and papers, ideas, and any Step five, iterate forever. Iterate, iterate, iterate. In any of these channels, any of these channels. Uh, uh, edit and tweak all your prompts and channels uh, as your vision for what your project could, should, will be evolves. Focus on what you want your project to be. The bot will always have a million, 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 have an infinite number of suggestions on hand. So it's up to you to choose which ones you want to pursue. Try to balance balance between broad level over our conversations between broad uh, level project wide conversations about the project, about uh, general overall structure of your project. Uh, 
aka rabbit holes. Love a good rabbit hole. Uh, use the Conversations about specific papers independent. Uh, I want to give more instructions, but I'm running out of brain. So two hours, see, two hours is when I'm done. We know this. We know this from experience. Um, wait, uh, copy link. Uh, use the prompt from exercise <sighs> size two. Paper. Uh, exercise two to help you extract. Meaningful summaries. Help you chew up research articles. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, doink, 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 doink. Do not just give the bot the citation and ask questions about the full paper. It will just make stuff it will just be guessing based on the words in the title copy paste the full abstract the bot only sees what you show it. Uh, I don't mean to yell, but y'all keep doing it. Stop that. <laughs> it's just like, it's that's a gotcha. That's like such a specific gotcha. It's such an obvious, such an easy one to make. Um, okay, say less. Definition of done. Okay. Okay, you have that. You have made. Uh, bot prompt. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, channels. Yep. Conversations. We call them chats. Chats. In your general. In each of the topic channels, you mean a step two. And uh, yeah. <sighs> okay. This is pretty okay. I think it's fine. How do we change this? Um, we took away that. We're, we're doing the notes and stuff in line. We're not doing reflections. Fuck that. Fuck you. Um, step by step completion criteria. Yeah. Okay. And so you have uh, 
<sighs> Come on. Come on. What's going on here? Come on. What the shit? Uh, Control Shift P. Hey. Oh, we're back weird again. What's going on? Okay, first of all, commit. Exercise. Revised. Exercise. Exercise. Three. Oh, it's already done. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why we're there. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> Four sections. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got five for them. Where did we get five from? Oh, technical. Aha. So, <laughs> okay, so we don't actually need the exercises in that channel, I think, um, because I'm getting to the point where it's like, oh, all the things I said I was going to do. I did a subset of them and I can chip away at these other ones I think because I think if I can get this up then you don't actually need to watch the video to make sense of it but you have that option um. <laughs> and then this workbench I can keep working on I'm going to okay you bye Actually, I want to keep that. I don't want to write that first bit again. <laughs> Head it. You can tell it what's going to be in there, and that's how you get the linting, which is the part where it changes the colors and stuff. Because I did code block, and I said markdown. It knows that it's going to be markdown. Although that's not, it doesn't get shown. It's just like, that's how it knows what, like, oh, these are headings. So I'm gonna make them blue, stuff like that. Um, because I because I told it that it's Markdown, it knows how to interpret um, this. And I say it, I mean, just like, this is like the, the raw machinery of the Discord server, not the magical machinery of the bot, which again, to be clear, the magic is, I hate to break it to you. The magic is statistics. Okay, how do we look here? We should break this up, really, is what we should be doing. But I think I'm not going to. Because I don't know how to... I'm not convinced I could do that quickly in a way that would be less confusing. Let's be consistent with how we're doing the lines. So we're going to do lines between major heading. I think that makes sense. Like these step-by-step -step instructions really want to be in their own document where that just is linked to. Um, 
but I don't again I don't have enough I don't have enough brain I think to get over the line there um, I, it, especially in a in such a way that it will not be confusing because potentially confusing because we haven't done that yet like, I mean a little bit like you know how to click on things I just don't know it's kind of it's part of the I think it's part of the weirdness of like about the, the teacher student vibe and university settings it's like on the one hand I know that you're intelligent adults on the other hand there's enough of you that statistically I have to treat you according to like like if I say things that are confusing people will make mistakes straight up um, so even though I know that each of you individuals like that scene in Men in Black which is probably Maybe before, maybe that's, we're aged out of that. Um, it's like a person is smart, but people are like I forget the term, but like like panicky and easily confused and stuff like that. And it's true of students. It's like each of you individually can absolutely figure this out, but like who knows what your like what your headspace is when you're reading it? Like oh, did I add your next one? I did, I did. Um, and I don't really want to. Yeah, and I'm more, yeah, I want you all to be successful. I am not interested in watching you, Thunderdome. Your students are not your enemies. Your students are your compatriots. I am the enemy. Come on. The enemy is anybody older than you. These are the rules. Because anyone older than you represents the past. And you, I regret to inform you. This is why it's... Wait, what are you doing? This is why I got... Oh, this is why I got Oculus Motor Control. That's such a better answer than the one I put up here. <laughs> It's like I don't think I I think I like I tabbed through. I think the body actually the, the the bot actually did this. This is such a better answer than whatever I said. Um click on the edit and add some text. I say yeah alternatively right click the channel name and and Enter text into the is it channel topic? Yeah.
I am going to put, I'm going to put little guys here. Between the steps, I think it's good to break that up. <clears throat> yeah, this, this, this document is too long. I need to break it up, but I'll do that later. I'll do it for the next one. Um, okay. Alrighty. Uh, no, I don't really want it to. Okay, so right. So I added the thing. I right click and say apps, open chat thread. I'm curious about what it's going to say here, but I'm not really interested in its feedback at this point. Um, uh, give me some, actually, well, I like that original prompt of like asking it to adopt different personas. Uh, 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 give me a critique of this exercise. Oh, did I update the schema? Uh, yeah. Definition. Uh, first, from a technical perspective, is it is it well structured? Obvious bugs, calling them bugs, uh, typos, etc. List those in a uh, mark, in a concise uh, mark down block uh, before doing the next. Uh, I was going to do the thing where I have to do two things in one chat because I'm lazy. It's just it's easier to not do that. Instructions for adding could be more concise. The bot, the bot is useful but could be integrated earlier. Okay. Uh, suggest fixes. Mm-hmm. And while that's doing there, what do you mean that the stuff... It's, it's, it's not wrong. Oh, come on. All right, let's just give that the whole thing. Evaluate this exercise. Oh, dear God in heaven. Spice. The only, it is impossible, it is impossible, it is impossible, uh, so I'm going to say this, just like, you aren't, you are not, B, 
being evaluated. You cannot make mistakes that will hurt your grade. Uh, do a bunch, do a bunch, screw it up, up, tweak, tune, fix, try again. Time on task, the only determinant Determinant of skill is time on task. <sighs> Just kind of like blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. And blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's plenty <laughs> for... Are you predicting my commit names now? I'll be honest, I don't mind. Because really, I want it to be, well, I want it to be a combination of autosave plus intentional saves. So like autosaves with like meaningful names, like every whatever minutes, it's like, oh, you changed this, oh, you changed that. Like that, the bot could have, like, you could you could absolutely like make an AI that does that. Um, But also you need to like choose. It's like I'm saving this commit because this is a this is a stopping point that I have chosen. That's a different thing from like, from an auto auto commit. And so when in doubt, increase n. You don't know what that is. Look it up. Uh, ba, 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 ba. What are we going to do? How are we going to pull this one in? How are we going to do this? Okay, so I didn't even name that one. Okay, so ugh, this part I need to. Ugh. We're going to do this through Canvas because you'll see Canvas. I'll also do a link directly. I'm going to upload this with a link to the thing, right? Okay, canvas. How much salt can one man, can one man hold? N plus one. Mm, assignments. I'm doing the thing. I'm gaslighting you, and I apologize for. I'm just gonna go in here. <laughs> uh, I am. The, the rule I'm following is make it be the way it should be. Like. This is also one of those things like how how did you fuck up plain text pasting? Like like where do you even get where did it like where did you even get those colors? Um da 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 sloppy sloppy um I'm gonna change this do we have do we have strike through? Okay, first of all, turn off the dark reader. Ugh. Look how angry I am. It's like, ugh, someone else made a decision about a tool that I have to use, and I'm so mad about it. Because I'm just gonna delete this. I I want to like because I don't want to gaslight too hard. Because someone might come back and be like, "Oh, I remember that there was something somewhere that said something." There we go um, about it. And I don't want them to like go back and look and be like, "Wait, where was it?" But um, 
note. <laughs> I see this this is the thing this is the um, this is the anti pattern that is this this icon does not mean resize it means like reorder uh, and like like see how weird that looks see it like to your like that's wrong this should pop up when you do this the user interface is wrong it is anti pattern uh, NVM Never mind, says, uh, 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 edit. That's how we do this. Edit. Oh my God. And you don't have, you don't even have control space. You don't even have control space. Garbage bucket. Edit. Uh, MVM these days might change. Might change. Don't take them to the bank. If you are one of the people for whom this lack of specificity is deeply stressful, Uh, when did I say that this is due? I said it was going to be due last week. I'm changing the due date to something else entirely. Um, not this Friday. I think next Friday would make more sense. I already submit this so group settings cannot be changed. Due. Not next Friday. Not this Friday, just next Friday. Because I think that's a good... Ah, oh, that's a good who's it to the what's it. Someday I'll make a short video. Not today, but someday. Okay, there we go. So exercise number three. Setting up up your space. Shoot. You're not going to remember this for me, are you? It's fine. Um, assignment. Exercise. Exercise number four. Building your tree. March 8th, why is March 5th? Oh, that's Monday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do Friday, March 1st. Note, this is a revamp of the previous, previous iteration. I, I heavily edited the original definition of exercise number three. Okay, building your tree. Get to that later. Okay. Uh, do March eighth. The most up-to-date uh, list of assignments and do eh. check the syllabus. Syllabus read me. I don't even know if that's gonna go through, but I'm just I, I, I can't I can't right now. Okay. Oh, okay. Watch my face. See what I'm saying? It's, like, it's too bright. You don't need that. Ionizing radiation. Technically. 
Um, okay, assignments. We've already done this. We can do this again. Uh, okay. Um, oh, what do we call it? What do we call it? Oh my god, I can't select the text. Like that's what I'm talking about. Like you tell me I cannot drag and select this text somehow. You have taken that capacity away. Like what did you have to do to make that not possible? Okay. 3.5. Configure space. Uh, revamped. Revamped and expanded. Instructions revamped, clarified, clarified, and expanded. Uh, instructions um, the original uh, my original uh, description experiment of experiment, I keep saying experiment exercise size number three was unclear so I revamped it to provide much greater detail about the assignment about the assignment uh, do uh, this I'm happy with this one <laughs> I'll just say that I'm happy happy with this uh, version and I think it will really clarify uh, a lot of what the current folk, yeah, clarify a lot. When in doubt, say less, a lot. <sighs> da 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 da. See, look at that. <clears throat> um, uh, go follow the updated instructions available here and then I have to stupid like control K does that even work ah <sighs> Uh, if where the instruction when if when the new instructions conflict you guys are gonna someone's gonna not delete their old ones and it's gonna be confused I will delete the old ones if I show up and they're not there don't worry about it uh, conflict with the stuff you did the first time through First time, I don't know, through uh, delete, uh, delete the old stuff. Delete the old stuff. <sighs> How did it go? Go. Um, paste a link to the I don't want to say that how'd it go how is it going I don't know I just need to become I just need to be more realistic about like what I'll be able to give to this class it's like oh I'm going to chop it up I'm going to have this whole thing I'm going to have this like it just it's too much performance I can't like it's just it's just not feasible. Maybe it's feasible, but <laughs> what did I say? What did I say to y'all? If it's hard, it's not because you're stupid. It's just because it's hard. It's like, yeah. But again, just to clarify, <laughs> uh, 
was talking about you, your students, you're careful, like you're like gentle and cared and you must be protected at all costs and whatnot. Not me. I'm an idiot. Duh. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's just like, we never give other people the grace. Like we never give ourselves the grace we give to other people. <sighs> publish okay I'm gonna make a link Ugh. okay um, I will put this in here hey everyone uh, everyone 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 um, I posted a new and improved <laughs> new and improved version of uh, the exercise number three set up your space uh, assignment uh, and put it uh, behind this canvas assignment Exercise, 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 exercise. This one, you don't have to exist. Bye, get out of here. Are we on? No. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, the instructions are here. Uh, I recommend doing the new uh, exercise before attempting exercise number four. Also, I pushed the official due date of number four out a ways. Uh, YouTube long form optional optional long form work journal of me developing this the new draft available here will post link when I remember when I when I when, when I upload remind me if I forgot <laughs> oh, I gotta put this on the canvas site too uh, edit 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 Come on. Among other things, that video includes uh, a section of me uh, working in the in the newly newly formed exercise workbench doesn't in the exercise builder channel of the newly formed formed uh uh, prof workbench channel if you are curious about how I use these weird weird bot machines weird word calculator in my workflow 
<sighs> Some of you, ah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Right click, um, before I forget, control C, control all, control, oh. Okay, right click, edit category, permissions. Um, everyone can view, everyone, no, most people can't send, you can send in messages. Okay, but I can do it. I can do everything. Uh, note. Also, also feel free to change your nick name to something. Uh, I don't want to do that. You'll just get confused. And if you don't, I don't know. Uh, note. Oh, my brain can't. Dead. Brain dead. Okay. Uh, post. Post that. Um, and are we done? Are we, oh, I got to do I got to upload the video. But then we're done. Jesus. Two, two, two hours, 40 minutes. That's too long. Of like this feels like a lynchstone moment because lynchstone capstone oof lynchpin uh lynchpenny type of thing because it's like what i really wanted to do with experiment with exercise exercise three was like i wanted y'all to be in a position where you could start cranking away at you know at your machine um but i gave instructions that were like here's how you set it up and i didn't give any instructions on here's what you do to, to get started so it was left to you to guess and some people did um, uh, I wish I remember who someone mm. you just look through what other people have done uh, oh I should change that word Configuring your space. Come on, don't say delete it. If 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 you're confused, if it is confusing, um, probably best to uh, rem uh, delete, remove. Um, uh, I recommend, uh, I recommend, uh, deleting, removing old, uh, bot prompt messages, old messages from the bot prompt. I'm going to call it, uh, Prompt settings. I should have used different words there. Prompt settings channel. Uh, as they might might get confusing. As things might get. I won't say that. You'll figure it out. And if you don't, you won't. I'll come through and clean it up later. Uh, no, I won't. Before imp and implement uh, and and try to match uh, editing deleting uh, to try to match the new instructions as closely as possible. Uh, re uh, notes, notes regarding, 
Ah, the first attempt. Uh, similar for channels. Uh, feel free to delete any vestigial channels um, or leave them in if you like them. Okay. See, look, I'm, you see, I'm like, I'm still typing in Markdown here, even though this is not a Markdown editor. Um, and it still kind of works, it just doesn't get formatted. Okay. I'm done. Thank you. Bye. Mwah.